What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here and here's another video uh, tutorial for uh, Beat Saber. This time I'm going to show you how to use artificial intelligence and machine learning through an application through the web to automatically map out uh, Beat Saber tracks using any YouTube video. And then I'm going to show you an application that you can go in and edit those songs in 3D. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is find a video you want to turn into a song. So I'm going to use my buddy's video here, Jim Talking, uh, by Keezy Keys. And we're going to go to Beat Sage. Beat Sage is an AI that creates custom levels for Beat Saber based on the, um, the up notes and the down notes, the, the hits, the drum pads, everything that it can sense in the song itself. So what you're going to do is paste the link here, uh, choose all the difficulty levels, um, you can also tag it however you'd like. Um, I choose all the difficulty levels because you never know how the AI is going to treat it. Might make it harder than hard, might make it easier than expert, you never know. So I like to see the pace of all of them and then choose the one I like best and edit that. And then right now we can only use uh, make standard maps uh, with bombs. So let's go ahead and slash to download. It's kind of cool that you actually have to slash to make that happen. So this is going to let you actually download the track and it is already usable for Beat Saber. Uh, the mapping might not be on point. You might have some flow issues or um, like in my case, I had some issues where um, the song itself was fine, but there were no notes during the rap portion. So um, I actually had to go in and edit that using an app. So I'm going to also show you how to edit that after we get a song. Alright, so we have this now. I'll save this into media. It makes a folder that has the song cover, which you can replace if you'd like, with um, anything else. Otherwise it just says Beat Sage. Uh, the actual mp3 file, which it rips from YouTube and all of the data for uh, the songs and where the notes go. So we're just gonna extract all of these files into their own folder. All right, so now we have the folder. Close that, we're good. We don't need this site anymore. The next thing we need is, um, well at this point you might wanna try the song in Beat Saber first to actually make sure it works. Um, this is some gameplay of the song working. Next, what you're going to want to do is go to uh, the Mediocre Map Assistant 2. And it's not very mediocre, it's actually very, very good. Um, we're going to go ahead and download MMA 2. We're going to open this up. And we're also going to extract this one. Now, let's go ahead and open up Mediocre Map Assistant. We're going to go to More Info and run it anyway because we trust the, the source that it's coming from. I mean, Squeaksies. Who, who wouldn't trust Squeaksies? Okay, anyway, uh, you find the custom folders. Uh, so let's go ahead and set this up. So Beat Saber Data. Where is my Beat Saber Data? Let's check in Steam... Steam apps, common, no Beat Saber here. Four terabyte, Steam library, Steam apps, common. No Beat Saber here, let's check my solid state drive. Uh, Steam library, Steam apps, common. Here's Beat Saber, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this address here and put that into our editor here. Make sure that you have all the right slashes and everything so that it looks proper. Hit apply. And yep, it found it. So now we just want to check our custom songs. And we have all of them listed here. If I scroll all the way down, we'll see that I've already imported um, Beat Sage, uh, Keezy Keys' Jig Talking. We're going to click on that and go to edit. 
Um, you can edit all of the information here about the song as well as choose which one you want to edit. I'm going to go to, um, let's go to hard. And then we'll go to edit level. And now we have a visual editor of the entire map. So you can go in here and just scroll through, make any changes or add or remove any notes you want to add and remove. You can choose the different types of notes here. You can add walls and bombs and all kinds of great stuff. So um, you can even listen to it. And um, go in and rewind a little bit and edit parts. And So this is just a really great editor for these songs themselves. And then once you save it, obviously you'll be able to go in and put that um, into Beat Saber or release it as a song for the public. So yeah, that's about it for uh, making custom Beat Saber songs. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching. Peace. Also, check out Keys of Keys' channel. He's a great artist. I'll put a link in the description as well. Peace.